As we go to the phones and to your calls and thoughts, we'll continue with the 30 things to stop doing to yourself here in a little bit if we get a chance. But Nick is actually on the line here in Oregon. Nick, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Brett. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hey, Hey, Nick. Go ahead, sir. Um, I'm a high school student. I'm a freshman. I'm going to a charter school here in Oregon. And uh, I'm thinking about uh, dropping out. I've started my own um, yak herd. And uh, I'm thinking that that is the way I want to go with my life. But What is that? Tell tell us more. What is that? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, A yak is, it's a sort of a type of cow. It's, oh, it's a not... yak herd. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. what I thought he was <laughs> I thought, saying. I thought I thought you said a yakard is one word, and, ah, I, and I didn't know what it was. But a herd of yaks. Sure, okay. How does yeah. one start a herd of yaks as a high school uh, ju- a, uh, so- freshman, freshman? Yeah. Excuse me. Well, he becomes an anarcho-capitalist and uh, does not like to conform with society and does not like regulations in agriculture and finds a animal that is not regulated as much as cattle and then i Hmm. found a farm in bend oregon pine mountain ranch um they have a a large yak facility and i bought some from them wow so you had some savings uh you purchased some yaks what does a yak cost um they can there's a lot of it all depends on age and gender um i got uh, four yaks, for one, two pregnant cows, and two bull calves for about $2,000. Um, I did not have a savings for this. I actually am now in debt. But it, How does one get a loan as a freshman in high school? Parents? Parents, okay. yes. So parents. they're behind you on this? Yes. Awesome yeah, like story so far. Yeah. Well, what is it your plan? I mean, are you? Uh, what do you? What does one do with a yak? Does one slaughter a yak and make yak meat? Uh, what, what's your plan to profit from the yaks? Yeah, mostly meat. I'm thinking about dairy. Nobody in the Americas, South and North, are selling commercial um, milk. Um, so I would be the first yak dairy if I can do it. Um, wow. That would I would be, like to do that's that. A big dream. It's hard, but yeah. So um, and then also hair. Yeah. So school is really not. Uh, it's it, it's kind of probably taken away from from this stuff that you're really into right now, right? Definitely. How long have you been thinking about dropping out? Um, about a month. All right. So uh, obviously you're an extremely smart young man. So I would guess that you have considered the possibility that by the time you're 16, maybe you might not be interested or as committed or as passionate about the yak herding anymore. Um, Do you worry that or has anyone suggested that you should worry about maybe erasing some of your options i know you're just listening but i'm throwing up air quotes with my fingers that school creates and and you know i mean I, I, there are obviously real things to think about because it is it is a huge decision and obviously i would like to see nobody going to government school at your age but i understand that you know we live in a a different kind of world than what i envision so yeah i mean what what how much planning how much thought have you put into this have you have you gone through the the what ifs um, I've gone through it a little bit. I've talked to my parents about this. I've talked a little bit with our um, college planner person at school. Mm-hmm. Um, it, I've got great test scores. I am pretty smart. I'm not trying to brag. I have almost all straight A's. I have a 4.0. Um, you're a 14 year old yak farmer. Yeah, <laughs> you're doing great for sure. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> well, what's the parents' response when you talk um, to them? Their response is, well, if you do this, you're not going to be able to get back into this charter school and you're not going to be able to go to college if you don't get a diploma. And uh, I could, I'm could, i thinking that I could go to almost any college I'd want with the grades and test scores that I have. So I am really closing a lot of doors to do it, but I am really not interested in school. I'm, it's not something that I like. I don't like learning what they want me to learn. It's just not interesting, and I don't think that I would use it unless I did end up going to some 
nice school, becoming a lawyer or something. Sure. I'll tell you, these Ivy League schools, you know, they like stories. I used to be a college consultant, and I was working with this girl who was from South Vietnam and had, you know, just wasn't wasn't brilliant, right? But I was helping her with the admissions process for Harvard because Harvard likes those kinds of stories. Now, obviously, mm. the colleges also consider things like ethnic diversity. That's important. But, you know, a good story that a 17 or 18-year-old can bring to a pretty decent school can go a long way. You know, she she was older than, I mean, this was like 2004 six that I was doing this and she was in her mid twenties. So she or maybe late twenties, early thirties. She had lived through the Vietnam war and she had a story. Now I dropped out of high school when I was a freshman to be a yak herder is quite a story, especially if you're successful at doing it. So the, the idea, I mean, yeah, there, there is the reality that it might close some doors that it might make it harder to get back on a college track. Just being a yak farmer doesn't open the door of every Ivy league school in the country. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, you might certainly be creating some challenges for yourself, but I think there's people that you can, you can talk to. There's endless resources for this today. I, I encourage you to check out, you know, my website, uh, schoolsucksproject.com and and you can hook up with some people there you can hook up with me directly and you know maybe we can we can give you some advice or we can provide some resources because yeah it's a tough decision to make right now but you know the more information... i feel like he should follow his instincts here i mean he's interested in doing the the farming thing he's not getting any of that at school he's not liking the school and the parents are supportive so yeah if your parents are willing to support your choices on this i say go and you know set yourself free of this and do your own education and the things that you want to learn on yeah. school and just get as much information as you can to prepare yourself for those challenges good yeah. luck nick thanks for the call tonight we'll see you tomorrow at freetalklive.com